<clears throat> Welcome back. <laughs> you know how to wake them up a little bit. Someone just threw their headphones off their head. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's your boys. It's your favorite podcast, your mom's favorite podcast. Your dad's just the uncle, your cousin. <laughs> the Physics Study Group, hashtag TPSG. How are you fellas feeling? Feeling all right. Again. You know, all right. I know we're good friends, and that's probably why we didn't bring it up, but we didn't discuss Shabby's absence from last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. How you feeling, bro? Well, yeah, you are standing, you, you are sitting a little straighter than yeah, usual. Yeah, he, he, he's a little, t- he's a little uh, tender. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what y'all did to me, man? See, so, he forgot. Well, you didn't listen. So. Those pants weren't ripped when you bought them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> listen to the last. Listen I to the last. Y- I hate y'all forever. Man. Listen to the last episode. So you, aliens are kind of violent too. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's I mean, funny. They're what bad are, sarcastic. What yeah. aliens? The aliens. Don't worry about that it. Niggas tripping, man. Aliens don't exist. They they said you said that anyway. <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah, <laughs> like every other week, and this week, and today, and tomorrow. I wasn't here last week. Well, you were absent. Yeah, I was. Oh, they wiped your memory too. Yeah, That's a wild thing. Damn. Damn. They didn't mention that in the memo. They Word. just said you're gonna return you safely. Where, nigga, it's a twenty. What what date is it? <laughs> it's 2019. Where? Stop playing with me, man. You've been a I wish I was. Years, the year 2021. You didn't know. All right. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> as in every week, <laughs> even when we abducted, I'm your boy, Mr. Dramatic, aka <laughs> Skip Beardless for the time being, mm. aka my chin inches. Ah, Chinich, <laughs> a.k.a. Chinich. Chinich. <laughs> and this Chinich. is... Chester Chinich. <laughs> <laughs> the, fourth. <laughs> the fourth. The fourth. The fourth. And you this is... Shake your bottom <laughs> lip when you say that. <laughs> no. Chester Chinich. <laughs> Just take the headphones <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> 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 Just take the but headphones this, off. But this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. <laughs> Sir Black Stallion the Third, a.k.a. Pablo <laughs> you know it's your boy, Black Dynamite, aka Fluffy Jump. Did they uh, put that name? Still not used to it. Yeah, he's really, he's really sticking with it. Yeah, yeah he's got. Wait, say it again. It. Y'all not feeling it? No, say, say the name again. Fluffy Jump. <laughs> 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 it's a video game, man. So shout out to. I just don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of it either, but I just like how it sounds. Wait, why? What name is it again? <laughs> I don't remember, <laughs> bro. We came up with it, and I said, I need to write this down. Because I'm going <laughs> to And sure enough, I forgot. <laughs> but I wrote it down. <laughs> Somewhere. In my notes. In my phone. Somewhere in a notepad. So I typed it down. <laughs> you typed it down? Can you tell that, I, that I'm a millennial closer to the beginning of that stage? <laughs> that Shabby, Shabby got the same notebook the dude um, from Blue's Clues had. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 we we just got a letter <laughs> face up. We just <laughs> got a... <laughs> this mag Shabby be like, hold on. Oh. Let me get my crayon. And write <laughs> <laughs> Quick story. Dramatic joke of the day. So oh I had to God. get a, I had to get a passport photo done, right? Oh. And I'm trying to think, you know, I got a beard for y'all listening, a big beard, and my name is A S I M Asim. I look like I might be up to something. <laughs> and <laughs> so I wanted to take a non-threatening picture. So I purposely, you know, slightly tweak the facial features so that I'll look less threatening, you know, rather than angry, possibly. These are all facts. Possibly <laughs> terrorist. And I, <laughs> after we take the picture. I'm like, yo, dramatic. How you? Th- what you think about this one? And he's like, oh yeah, you definitely have an old cavity search ass face. <laughs> 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 and I was like, what, yo? He had the dude in the store rolling. Wow. Man. Yeah, I didn't expect that burst of laughter. From him. <laughs> it kind of jolted to me, like, oh. Shit. <laughs> Wait, was it? Was he a W? No, 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 no. Oh, I was about to say, I feel that way. Black teenager. And he's helped me before, and he was so dry. That's why, I, like, I, that threw me off, too. Like, I know this kid. He helped me at mm. that store. <laughs> and yeah. he just be so dry about everything. Welcome to Wild Queens. <laughs> 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 Maybe you don't want to be friendly. <laughs> Man, I ain't here with you. Like, it even... But back to the introduction. Oh, yeah, we didn't even go we through we the introduction. Kind of skipped over my man. Uh, oh, what's up? It's your boy, David <laughs> Boy. <laughs> A.K.A. D. Boa Bite. Otherwise known as <laughs> Black Yoshi. Oh, Black. for sure, Black Yoshi. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not Yoshi. That's, that's blue. <laughs> that's not even the same animal. Yeah. 
What is Wait, Yoshi, by the way? You don't even know. A Yoshi's toad. a dinosaur. Exactly. A toadosaur. No, not a toad. <laughs> <laughs> he's a toadosaur. No, Yoshi is an asexual too. dinosaur. <laughs> that lady. Bad, 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 bad sexual <laughs> lizard. Bad sexual lizard. Bad sexual more. Like amorphous lizard. Where's pansexual? What? See, <laughs> what? Huh? No, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm, I, I know, but I don't know right now. Right? <laughs> that means you know, I think you just say, identifying with. You just say shit and you're no, like, huh? Pansexuals, well, huh? if I'm not mistaken, are you're people like that are attracted to cooking wear. <laughs> 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 We're about to go. Ah, ah, ah. Wow. That was so corny. Had a wow. focus. That was the most. <laughs> for the biggest <laughs> letdown. What? That was I just walked off of a fucking cliff what? Uh, by that accident was, because I thought hey, something was that there. was the most. <laughs> that was the most like offensive dad joke I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. But anyway, it goes. It gives a whole new meaning to to spooning. Where? <laughs> oh my nigga with the. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. And um, to the to the subject at hand, um, we're talking about the the NBA and the NFL, the National Booty Association. Oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> but um, when in some circles, you some know, circle. we we've talked about you know the things going on with the NFL on the podcast mm-hmm. before, mm-hmm. with you know the owners being you know crack ass crackers, <laughs> um. You the know, commissioner th- being a crack ass guy, I go fuck you, Roger Goodell. Word and fuck you the Cowboy season up, sorry. Word and people like you know devils like Tom Brady are successful. Yeah, um, I'm play. Um, no, <laughs> but um, fuck him. Um, <laughs> ignoring the clear effects of the high contact sport that is football. Word on, on the brain. Mm-hmm. Word, know, word. Uh, so that so that they can keep their multi billion dollar TV contract deals. Yeah. Word, because um, money talks. Mm-hmm. Cash is king. Oh, yeah. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Word. So with all that <laughs> stuff going on, um, you know, the NFL has been seeing a decline in ratings. Yes. And this is their second straight year. So it's not even it's not even so much like from all the you know, everybody protest it's it's been mm-hmm. a it's been a trend. Yep. Yeah, and um the, the protesting is just what excuse me, push it over the edge. It definitely yeah. amplified. Beca- yeah, yeah, no, it definitely narrative. amplified it because mm-hmm. Um, on the NFL, um, with the NFL, like, it got to, like, the first rating slip, it was just the fans that were mad at them. Mm. Now, with this protest, then everybody's mad at them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, they're getting it doubly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, they deserve it, though. They they put certain things over, you know. Like, like player safety. Yeah, player safety and the um, conduct the and punishment. You know, it's all yeah. about that shield. It's, it's yeah, clear. They, they, that, that NFL shield, like, nothing's more important. I don't care if you punched your wife. I don't care if you murdered someone. I don't care if you kidnapped someone. You, you know what I'm saying? It's all about that NFL shield. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we need you, we go put you in. If we don't, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it does seem sometimes or like, it, inconsistent when it comes to, like, you know, suspensions, and it seems to be like, you know, who... I mean, perfect example, Ray Rice. Mm-hmm. The whole Ray Rice yeah. situation, how they, they what, he wasn't suspended, or he was only suspended one or two games when they first yeah. found out about it, and then the tape leaked, and they, they went yeah. completely, like, they... And they the thing is, they, on the deal. they had the tape already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, people found out that they, they saw it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, well, you saw it before we did. You're supposed to put the sponge down anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you saw it, He's like, holy shit. All right, one, two games. Then they got released. He's like, okay, season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, that hypocrisy. pressure put on them. And with um, yeah. Ezekiel El- Elliott, too. But Don't um, get me started he, he on that nobody shit. nobody in the elevator, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was rights, It was on film. Yeah. And his wife admitted it, but his wife didn't press charges because, you know, they got that, married right them. after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. They got married right after. They yeah. Got married like a month but after. But they don't care. Well, Ray Rice was a very successful back and everything, so. I, I don't know, man. It's just mm. they they just do some like sick shit. But now uh, on the on the flip side, uh-huh. the NBA has been seeing a rise yeah. in, in popularity. Mm-hmm. Um they said that the last um NBA finals <laughs> had the highest rating since the um Jordan era. Oh wow. Mm. So it's like a lot of people are tu- um a lot more people are tuning into basketball. So how do y'all what do y'all feel about about that in general, just about NBA 
do you feel like basketball is a is a sport people should follow more than than football? I mean, I've I followed them equally growing up. Mm. Now, uh, sometimes I get I get into my mode where like you gotta remember basketball is eighty two games. Yeah, football is only sixteen. Uh-huh. So I'm used to just every week bomb. You wait till Sunday, bomb. You wait till Monday. You wait till you know what I'm saying. I get uh, I can watch an NBA game every day of the week now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of it's kind of a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I gotta watch all eighty two fucking games. Yeah. to be a real <laughs> fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I be at work most of the time <laughs> when they play. Like you know, football is on a Sunday. You off. Mm. It's from one o'clock to midnight. Yeah. Basically, it's all football. But yeah, I mean, basketball is a good sport, and I love how they allow uh, p- uh, players freedom of speech. Mm. They let players not just say anything they want, but they let them speak their mind about mm. injustices and rioting and all that and protests. So Where, yeah, that, that's one thing. But isn't that, that crazy? We got to say like, oh, I like how they give their <laughs> athletes basic human rights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I've always um to answer the question, mm. right? Like I don't look at it as a, you know, should people watch NBA over the NFL or anything. Um the NFL has its own issues because that's just what it is for them. But uh-huh. um as far as preference, I just always did like NBA more. I mean, I played basketball a little bit and um I mean, I I barely played football with friends and stuff on the block or whatever, but I didn't enjoy watching football, so maybe that's why I don't care for it too much. So for me, I'm like, oh well, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's I going on. I like y'all anyway. anyway. <laughs> like when Mrs. Bumaye and and Jordan Maddox get into their football conversations, I literally just form into the corner. <laughs> so when they just talk about <laughs> talking about Nintendo Switch, well, you, oh yeah, you, you fantasy hope football was pretty really damn intense this year, but fuck them niggas. <laughs> anyway, w- one thing I didn't uh, I always notice about the NBA, like from when I was younger till now, they were very very close to the hip more um to hip hop than mm. um any other sport. Was. Football? No, no NBA oh, basketball. NBA, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, because you quicker hear a rapper rap about cross you up on the court instead of. Mm-hmm. Bombing you or run you over or shaking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, they were way closer connected to hip hop than any other sport, and that always intrigued me because you know, being a hip hop head and loving music and everything, mm-hmm. you know. But then there's always country so, um, stars performing at the Super Bowl, right? You know, I, that's what I'm talking about. Right? The NBA, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you, and you always notice it's the, it's the form, it's the style of music too, because mm-hmm. hip hop is about style, about finesse, and that's what basketball kind of is. True. And Let's go with so, it. And niggas can show out on the court. Mm-hmm. There's courts everywhere. It's easier to go, you know, probably get a one-on-one game than, you know, you can't mm-hmm. go play one-on-one football. football. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to get people together for that. So it's also a more easily accessible game yes, to play much easier. amongst the neighborhoods that hip hop artists came from. So I, I think that also has something to do with it. And also, it's more predominantly black than football, believe it or not. Yeah. Who's considered the greatest basketball player ever? Michael Jordan. A black guy. Oh, yeah. Like, football, oh, yeah. there's like 10 greatest players ever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, okay. It did, um, when you go to football, you got to break it down by, by, by position, position era. Era. Yeah. Yeah. era. It is city. It is state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is like a consensus that Michael Jordan is It's basically indisputable. Yeah. yeah like everyone but there's no like, really yeah. indisputable greatest player in mm-hmm. football. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. It's it's li- like a- anything is arguable. Anything on earth is arguable, mm-hmm. but people would quicker argue with about the football side than you know but Michael there's Jordan. S- there is <laughs> also so much more to football, though. Yeah, like As there are people C-Mark, who yeah. never touch the ball playing football. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. So like, while you could have someone like LeBron who could play every position on the court, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. And so I guess that's another thing. It's it's just a different sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, and like you said, the the easy access and everything. Mm-hmm. That's what um you know everybody's first love was, either track or basketball because yeah. you could just run around the block, mm-hmm. run on your mm-hmm. dribble your ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. dribble your ball or make a hoop out of every, anything. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah, actually when when I moved here, I was a, I, I was big into track and I was big into um for real football. I know. <laughs> AKA, AKA soccer. You know, you know what I'm saying? Know. Foot football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Foot football. <laughs> <laughs> not, not hand egg. Word. Oh, so y'all egg. spell it F U T, right? 
Oh, that's I that's my. Pe- I hate oh. I hate niggas like that. Smack a nigga like, like that. Oh, there's football and then there's football. I'm like football. nigga, if you don't <laughs> take your ignorant ass somewhere. Oh shit. First of all, Same. you are Robin and I am Batman. <laughs> make you into a meme right now. <laughs> 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 but um, <laughs> when when I moved here, um, I didn't I didn't get into basketball as quick as I got into football, because I felt like. I didn't really understand basketball rules a lot. Like, I would watch basketball and I'd see, like, one guy run into the next guy and then, like, the guy who fell gets the foul. And like, I was like, wait, what's going on? You know, the, no. yeah. Yeah. the charging Charged. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd, like, a lot, of, a lot of basketball <laughs> rules, like, I couldn't get into. Like, I didn't really understand, like, underst- I didn't really understand the, the flow of the game. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed playing football better. I mean, I, I enjoyed more. I enjoyed playing football more. Wow, that was because amazing. you were better. At yeah, it. probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, I I, I yeah, really this got so grab or not too. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to use the ball with my hands? Word. <laughs> I can that actually touch work. it. <laughs> Word. So with football, I was just like, just take this <laughs> and run to the other side of the field. Oh, zoop! And I was there, you know. Yeah, because this this thing it was is. It will always be a fast ass. <laughs> 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 I, I know a few people faster than Mr. Flockazula over here. No, you don't. <laughs> like I said, I know. <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> if, you, if you ever need a proxy to run from the cops for you, for real, <laughs> 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 he might get you out of there. Hey, no, Mike. <laughs> Tag remember, me. remember that scene, Super Bad? Like, uh, he's the fastest kid in the world. He's like a gazelle. <laughs> he's like a gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> he's the fastest kid in the world. <laughs> but um, what another another reason uh, basketball is you know more popular amongst everybody now. Is the guaranteed money they get? Mm-hmm. They're like, I think MLB baseball has full guaranteed contract, and I think f- um, basketball is next as far as American sports go. Yeah. Of course, soccer is a whole nother Word. world of money over Word. there. Yeah. They be giving hey. them niggas everything world over there. Money. Word, but they, it, it's getting more popular here in the states. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming up, but it's not like it is. Yeah, oh yeah, know, yeah. but there. it'll yeah. get there. I but feel like it'll eventually get there. It will. Maybe, well, hopefully. Yeah. With these football? kids need, you know, some diversity as far as sports go. True. <laughs> exactly. With football going out, or not going out, but losing its popularity, mm-hmm. if something doesn't change drastically from the leaders of, you know, that sport, um, you, you will definitely see other sports come and become more popular. I mean, you're starting to see cricket around a little bit more now. Yeah, too. I was going to say, like you know with, the, with the NFL, I'd say most of the, the unpopularity comes with the organization. Exactly. Honestly. Yeah. I, yeah. I, exactly. Um, yeah. For a few <laughs> other reasons. I mean, we of course, we had the protest, uh, the huge CTE issue that's going on now. And that's, I mean, player safety. That's That's not really... Uh, that's not really a selling point, you know what I mean? Join the NFL, get a concussion, and that's not yeah. what people are, <laughs> mm. are going for. But you but have half a billion guaranteed money. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. But, oh, sorry, another thing I was going along with what I said, the guaranteed money and, oh, sorry. You're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I thought you were done. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the guaranteed money and, like you just said, the safety. Mm. Everybody would quicker put their kid in basketball than football. Yeah, I w- I wanted to bring that up um too, like you know the fact that what would you rather your your kids play? You know, because now th- nowadays I I would I would, I'd I'd much rather my my kid play basketball than football. No, of course I not agree. not that I would stop my kid from from doing pr- yeah. from doing what he wants yeah. to do, but you know from a parent's standpoint from you know just being worried about not that i'm a parent yet yet but you know just thinking you, you ain't got no kids i mean <laughs> h- however you, you drop you them jits you, you could <laughs> go back to the, um mr boomer's point that you know it is really because of management and ownership in the nfl why things have become the way it is like i think if it always starts from the top down in america because america yeah. is a business it's corporate run in a sense the structure yeah. so like if if you have the NFL taking player safety more seriously, then you're more likely to have local coaches who will take player safety more seriously down the line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, th- that's just I think that's just the effect of the, the you know 
how, how the sports looked at. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, if you want more aggression and you want people to go to kill, then that's what you're going to get. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, it's still up to the parent. You know, you could also, as a parent, vet your local optimist club or whoever you have your kids signing up with. You could just, you know, catch practice one day with, without, you know, just show up without telling anybody and just kind of see what's going on and figure it out for yourself and decide because if your kid really wants to play football but there's a program there that mm. seems to treat the players you well then why not you yeah, should probably not, bring yeah. your kid with you when you do that <laughs> exactly. so you don't look like a creep just watching kids play oh no i'm talking <laughs> about binoculars <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the even worse you look like let's a let a let a cop run upon you with binoculars watching peewee football it's you'll go, it's over you'll go straight I'm to jail watching the co- <laughs> nigga coach go, my chillin <laughs> Well, I'm just looking at. That's my son. I swear to God, <laughs> he looked just like me. <laughs> I'm just watching how they tackle each other. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, get the paddy wagon. <laughs> get the <laughs> paddy wagon. Oh. You got a child touch over here. Where next thing you know, your 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 face is plastered all over the place of a sex <laughs> For <offender>. real. <laughs> but um, now, well, the reason I said not making sure they don't know you're there, they're not mm. aware, is because of course they're gonna put on a show for you if they know you. Oh yeah, yeah. You're true, supposed true. to have them in a position of they don't feel like they're being watched yeah. or else you're not going to get what you're looking for when mm-hmm. it comes true. to that. Mm-hmm. Trust me. No, true. That's when true. You got that's real. With other people's kids, if they know the parents are watching them, they on their best behavior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't I ain't matter. trying to get no ass whooping and push up. So, <laughs> you know, like that's why <laughs> you're going to catch me with my blacked out tits with a binocular. <laughs> 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 Nobody oh my God. <laughs> I'm just taking notes of this coach, sir. <laughs> A lot of Could you be on your way? <laughs> uh, another reason why the NBA is getting popularity, um, is because like a lot of the um, the drama in the NBA is, is purely basketball, where in the NFL the drama is outside uh, off the field more than on the field. Mm. So like, I'm what, I mean, about that. what nah, I mean, what I mean, equal. what I mean, is it, what I mean by that is like you have situations like um, Kyrie Irving, you know, leaving Cleveland, and 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 you have like LeBron, LeBron That's going the back, deal. you That's know, the story. and like. Um, um, Durant leaving OKC and it, like those are like huge, sp- like stories within the the basketball era or the basketball realm to where like people want to see how these stories play out or he, how these dramas play out. You know when like the game where um, where Kyrie he plays Celtics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. When the Celtics played Cleveland for the first oh, time after yeah. he left. That that game had like one of the highest ratings, or, or the yeah. like so it's like people are looking at these timelines <laughs> and these storylines to where football it's not really the the main the main drama that's in football does has nothing to do with football. Well, uh, well, I mean the 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 main drama that has to do with football is is rather predictable, honestly, mm. and I think that's another reason why ratings are kind of going down with mm. them. I mean, how many times have we seen the Pats and the how many mm, times have you seen the Patriots true. in the Super Bowl conference final? Yeah, and they're going back period. again, you fuck faces. Yeah, you I know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's yeah. what, eight years straight now? Seven years straight? It's ridiculous. It's three yeah. out of four years. Yeah. It's three times of the last four years. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, fuck with them with, um, <laughs> with the NBA, granted, we do have... We do have the we have the Cavs keep showing up, and we do have Golden State keep showing up. I feel like the rematch was actually what brought what gave it that spike of mm. uh, of viewers over the last yeah. over the last finals mm-hmm. because people want to see. You know what? Can can Cleveland really come back and mm-hmm. and make this right? Or I mean, yeah, can, can Golden State hold them off or whatnot? So, uh, uh, let me correct you there. Yeah. It's not Cleveland going eight straight times. It's LeBron going eight <laughs> straight times. <laughs> 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 that nigga's been in the finals since two thousand and fucking ten. Wow, ridiculous. And oh, another. Oh, my bad to cut you off, but another reason why I read that it's 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 gaining more popularity. Popularity because it's popularity. more popularity. Popularity. Sound like I'm from Wisconsin or popularity. something. But um, another thing is that um, it's more personable. Um, the NBA players they don't wear helmets, so people like oh, see yeah, them yeah, and stuff true. like that. So they have a you know more hot like beer connection. Yeah. With NFL, it's like it's kind of jer- like mm-hmm. you just see a helmet and a jersey and pads. And yeah. kind of with a the culture, they don't they don't really see them as like individual players either. What, what? number <laughs> depending on number twenty three is a bum. Like mm. you know, just the w- just the way you hear fans talk. Like it's different with NBA and NFL. Yeah, I get what you say. I understand what you're saying, but maybe because I follow football more, I kind of notice. 
that you said what they're not doing, they are doing. But mm. I think it's different because I watch it more than you. Oh, what you mean? Like, is no, because this I'm going off of like uh, um, an article I read. Okay, so, so that's, uh, that's what the article said. So. I understand. Yeah. No, 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 but the article's not wrong. And also, uh, um, along with the personal thing, uh, people don't realize how, I don't care how many times you do it, 82 times a year or half that, mm. people don't realize how awesome courtside seats are. Mm. Oh, You're man. right there. You can't do that shit with football. Niggas no. will die. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like niggas will die in game. Mm-hmm. That's what makes basketball so awesome. You're right there. You're watching yeah. LeBron James and Steph Curry walk past you. I don't care if you're a billionaire. You do that 82 times a year because you have season tickets for the court side. That's still fucking awesome. Yeah. Right. I do yeah. not care. And the only way you can do that in the NFL is if you're a former player on the Dolphins and the Dolphins are playing, you're on their sideline. That's the closest. Mm. But other than that, you got to wait till the game over because the niggas are flying at 200 miles per hour down there. You do not want to be anywhere Mm. near there. Right. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that whole personal thing. Mm. Yeah, when you connect with the fans on a different level other than, you know, than other sports, Mm. it's going to put you over the top. Right. Yeah. Right. And rugby, even rugby. Do you do you guys think rugby has a uh, is poses a threat to to football? Nah, nah not here. Uh, yeah, not here. <laughs> not here. Not now. Mm. Not because I've I've been seeing I've been seeing surges of popularity. Like there, yeah, like yeah. there there's a huge tournament being um being thrown in 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 the United States for rugby. So, but I don't know. I have to wait and see. Yeah. But I mean, I've been hearing about rugby for several years. I mean. Um, I, I knew a couple dudes that actually joined the rugby league back in like oh seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And these are dudes from the hood. Mm-hmm. Like, so Yeah. It's 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 happening. You know, some people are getting into it and they like it better than football, so yeah. yeah. Mm. Is, oh shit. So I stay corrected. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I yeah, mean, it's more rough. I mean it's a bit more it's it's fun, yeah. honestly. It's I never played play. it. It does look fun though. I never, I just never played it. I mm. just feel like everybody's screaming "dog pile" the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> dog pile, dog pile, dog pile. It's a big, it's a big, <laughs> mo- like semi-organized game of kill the man with the ball. Basically, that's pretty <laughs> much what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. what it looks a like. A nigga go down, another ball go up. Semi. Ball, you semi <laughs> down, ball go up. Word. With teams, pretty much. Word. Yeah. It's you get team kill the man with the ball. Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> exactly. You go into scrum. You try to. Yo, kill that's the man with the ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ball the comes ball. out. <laughs> try to kill the man. With, yeah. So we're gonna kill the man with the ball together. <laughs> <laughs> together. <laughs> Basi- <laughs> basically, you have and to. And the other team's like, we gonna keep this nigga alive together. So that's the that, uh, that's the subject of this podcast now. The boiling popularity, popul- popularity so of rugby. <laughs> that we all can. Is rugby gonna take over? <laughs> popularity to be. Popularity. 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 But yeah, <laughs> George Popularity. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I basketball's mean, always been there. You know what I'm saying? Nip the, it at the heels of football. Mm. At one point in the '90s, it was basketball. Mm. It without well, be, that, beyond it a was shadow Michael of Jordan. doubt. Yeah. Basketball. He he was basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, but, but now we're getting back to those same like those same numbers, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but we have multiple stars now. Yeah. Going on. I mean, which is that that's really dope in itself. I mean. Yeah, but you still have the king though, you know. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. rules all over the kingdom. Jesus. So do you guys do, do you guys <laughs> think do you guys think the NFL is the way it is partly because football is mainly played in the United States and kind of United States kind of have a monopoly over. That would be over. a part of it. That would be a part. Mm. That's another thing that makes the NBA yeah. unique. They always have a foreign draft pick in like mm. the top ten, mm. the top yeah, cause fifteen. They, yeah, because yeah. they play basketball all over the they world. They play a exactly. lot of games. They on. really play basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. They play football, but they don't really play yeah. football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. They, they yeah, I think uh, Ricky Williams he used to play running back. Y'all know Ricky Williams. Mm. Yeah, he coached a football team in China, I think. Yeah, or Japan, one of the two. He was either head coach, he's on the coaching staff, but like a high school Chinese football. I'm like, what? what? Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, yeah you know I mean, what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, they're, football has they've they've definitely had their campaigns try to make it more um, international. Um, yeah, like the the um the Europe games and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's and like, the Mexico games. Mm-hmm. Wait, they've had games in Mexico. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah. this year is the Raiders. What a shocker! It's somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of Mexicans in Oakland and Dallas. Where? Da- the Dallas Cowboys, oh, yes. uh, the Raiders, and the, and the Spurs have a tons of Mexican 
You know, any teams around those yeah, areas yeah. Yeah. have a lot of Mexican fans. Word. Word. <laughs> well, I'd say maybe the Kings do too. Maybe. Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, Word. I know San Diego for sure. Maybe San the Suns. San Diego, maybe the all Cardinals. Those niggas, yeah. All the places that from the Cardinals. From yeah, people from that used to be Mexico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you go <laughs> far enough back in history, or shout out to the Lu- what, Louisiana Purchase. Yeah. No, not even. No, not took Louisiana that shit. Purchase. The Manifest Louis- Destiny. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Were, Manifest Destiny was definitely the main thing, but there were a, a couple other battles after. Uh, but there's no battle like the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors. Tomorrow night on And with that, I'm looking at my sundial. It's about an episode, guys. Oh, shit. Sounds about right. right. That's what that is? Kind yeah. of bright in here. I thought I was a knob for a washing machine. <laughs> well, yeah, man. One time <laughs> for the NBA. Yeah. Um, uh, I just, who knows? Them them jerseys might look like football jerseys soon. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> foot football jerseys. <laughs> foot football. Yeah, foot low key. Foot. Yeah, man. Remember all the f- uh, the Cavs won the finals in them shits? Those all yeah. black ones? How do y'all... F- Oh wait, hold on. How do y'all feel about these Nike jerseys? I don't like man. those sleeve jerseys. I like the the regular tank tops. Yeah, I yeah, like. I, like the, I don't like too. the sleeves. The Nike jerseys are dope. I like them. Nike. I, one thing Nike does know how to do are throwbacks. So yeah. the throwbacks for these teams are pretty dope. Hmm. Yeah. Haven't they been having problem with like the dirt problems with like the durability? They've yeah. been ripping like, like, like every ripping, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> every game. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, like, but you know it's all about <laughs> aesthetics. LeBron stretches a little bit too much and that shit rip. Yeah, <laughs> he yawns. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Oh I'll, no, no, I was just no, I was gonna say something about Nike, but you. No, no, what shit. you gonna say? Like, yeah, let's. I was gonna say because they got little fingerless Chinese kids. <laughs> Holy shit! But yeah, let's let's. Hey, the truth is the hey, truth, hey, though. Hey, you yeah, yeah, you just truth. don't want to hear it. Man. <laughs> Asian kids throwing them together, but for real, they're tired. <laughs> Let them rest. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> what's wrong with you, savages? As we as <laughs> as a bunch of us are wearing Nike, but anyway, I mean. Soon. This has been. I'm <laughs> 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 Damn it, we need to end this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as every week, we are TPSG, hashtag TPSG, the physics study group. And uh, once again, tune in next week. Sorry, this week. Sorry, we're yeah. going to have two of next Mo- week. Uh, Tuesdays, Tuesdays and yeah, Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Every week. Tune in two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> and shout Sorry, out to all the people episode. that's been rocking with us. Shout out Geekland Store. Word. Go get that uh, dope shit in. Go to Mr. Flock of Zulu. It's 25% off now with our, w- with our TPSG code. Yes, with our promo code TPSG, Geekland Store, Geekland Online. Yeah, dot com. Com. yeah geeklandonline.com. Yes, com. and this is Flock of Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. The Don Diddler. <laughs> <laughs> the Don Diddler on the, the roof. Don Go ahead. And it's your boy Black Dynamite, aka I see Black, aka Way Bixby, aka Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Uh, 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 it's your boy David Bomaye, aka Debo Wabite, aka Black Yoshi. Hey. Aka I'm out of AKAs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them who you is and give them the instructions, nigga. It's your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Skip Bearless, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, Wave Chappelle, <laughs> and all that good shit. And um, as every week, let's have three simple instructions for you. <coughs> Smoke mm. a spliff. Right. Uh-huh. Take a shot. Right. Mm. Rub yourself a nice old fat booty. Do it. Twice. We'll see y'all next time. Deuces. Love, peace, and chicken. Drops mic. Mm.